Welcome to my channel, Nugget Shooterette Expeditions. And today we're doing a little something different in filming. Um, we got a second uh, beehive. It's called a new hive, and I'm gonna let Bill explain to you. We used to have uh, do beekeeping back about 2016 to 2018, and then we ended up with 10 hives. We were saving hives, blah, blah, blah. And uh, so we have another one, and Bill's gonna show you what we're doing and explain to you what a new hive is. And we just got it back at it recently and we're gonna have two of them. And then as the bees multiply, we'll split the hives and sell the bees. So explain to them what a nuke hive is, honey. Honey. A nuke hive is short for nucleus. And there are five frames in here of bees, of happy, healthy bees and a queen. And I took five frames out of this 10 frame hive and we're going to replace and this is a the smoker right frames here frames i took out in the middle here with the frames out of here which will be this new colony and they're going to smell their queen in there and they won't bother this colony over here and this bee's already loose and these are the bees that he just brought home you can see them inside it's there. like again it's called a new hive now just to calm these guys down we're going to smoke them just a little bit just keep them from too, getting too excited over here. Okay. And we're going to smoke these guys a little bit. This is nice, cool smoke. Get a little bit in there just to calm them down. Because you wouldn't be happy if somebody tore your house apart, would you? Right. Okay, so what's going to happen here is we're simply going to pull the top. And we're going to immediately have bees everywhere. Just. Okay. And the queen is right here. You can tell by the way they're balled up right there. And she could be in here. You always look for the queen, but I don't see her in this batch. So we're just going to shake these bees in, like so. You can, act, you can hear, I don't know if you all be able to hear in the film, but you can hear them buzzing. How yeah. many bees do you think are in there, honey? Oh, several thousand. Several thousand bees. Okay. Now, there's a little bit going on here. Get my tool. And we're going to start with this outside frame. And we're simply going to pick it up, take a look at it. And they got lots of pollen stored in there. Yes, they do. And I don't see the queen. She's got a red dot on her. We shouldn't and, have any and trouble. She's bigger than the other bees. Okay, so this is going to go in here, right up against these. And I'm going to put them back in the same order I took them out. And I'm by no means a professional, but I've kept bees before, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Yeah, he knows a bit more. I'm, I forgot a lot what we were learning okay. back a few years ago. I'm guessing ago. the queen's going to be right there in the middle. We're going to look at so, this one. I'm learning again. Okay, look at this brood pattern. All those cap cells, those are going to be baby bees. And I don't see the queen there. And she will have a dot. There she one. is. Where's she at? She's right in that cluster. See the Plus red dot it. on her? There's a red dot. They're protecting her right there. They're so protecting. we know we got the queen. That's a big deal. We're going to stick her in here. And that takes a lot of pressure off me because I know where she is now. And you can see her still being protected by the other bees. And she's in a ball right there, they're going down. So I have to be careful to put this other frame over a little bit so I don't roll her. And that's what happens sometimes. Yeah. You need to trim and the this is another here. box of brood. We've got honey stores in there. We've got pollen up in the corner. Everything's looking real good. And these are from Wayne Combs. Um, Let me see that again. We're showing them again. We get our bees from Wayne Combs. Heck of a nice feller. He's got some nice bees. Yeah, his name so, is Dwayne Combs. Yeah, Dwayne Combs. I say Wayne. Oh. Anyway, okay. I know where the Look queen is. Them. I can still see them balled up. So I'm gonna slide this one gently over there. We don't want to squash her or anything. And we'll give them a second to move around. And we're going to take this one out. Oh, look at that. This one's got honey. 
That up on top is honey. And those are queen cells. But they're uh, empty. And I have bees flying and looking at me at my face. They actually have face recognition. Mm -hmm. they, can, they can recognize your face. They fly up and look at you. Now, the queen cells aren't a good thing. And I don't think, these aren't charged, so they're probably fine. I'm gonna leave them alone. I don't see anything in them. Maybe I better look a little better here. No, there's no eggs, no nothing, so that's perfectly normal. We're gonna put this in. Now that they've been put in all this room, they're not gonna have the urge to swarm. No, they won't worry about queen cells. Okay, we're gonna slide this one over and this one a little bit more. And this box is called what again with the 10 frames? This is a Langstroth 10 frame hive. I know, but is it called the super or the? It's a brood box. Oh, the brood box. See y'all, I'm still learning. I forgot from the last time we had bees. It's still a super technically, but. There's a okay, lot Okay, and this to frame's learn. not pulled all the way out yet. They got honey up on top, pollen on the bottom. That's what the nice yellow stuff is. Yeah. And not too many bees on that side. So they haven't drawn all that. Now what we're gonna still do. a few little bees left. Oh, and of we'll course. We'll put all these in here. There is some dead bees. Yeah, oh, there's gonna be dead bees. Why does that bee right there look kind of bigger than the other That's bees? That's a drone. Oh, those are the drones. Okay, you got your work, female worker bees and the drones. And the drones mate with the queen. That's all they do. And just to be honest, the drone mates with the queen. And after they mate, well, she rips his penis off. And that's how it happens. And he dies. And he dies. But that's okay, what happens. Okay, so we got all these bees in the box. Now we're going to take this box and we're going to tip it down its side and let the rest of these bees come out. And they're going to smell where their queen is. And they're going to come right out into that box. <clears throat> and then we're going to put some food in here. A lot of people don't like these outside feeders. These are different. Um, some of the cheaper outside feeders are prone to robbing. These are pretty cool. The bees are already in there looking around. And we put the jar of sugar water in there. And I'm gonna open this up and let them out here in a minute. As soon as the rest of these get in there. I think we can open it up now. And what I'm gonna do is simply put, I use PVC pipe because it works really well. And you can change your reducer size just by cutting a new piece of PVC. And we're gonna have a small opening so that the bees that are the neighbors here don't get the bright idea to go. To come rob the hive. Come rob the hive, yes. The Africanized wild bees. We, and don't, also we our, don't want that. Any bees will rob other bees. Well, yeah, well, we don't want that happening. So we don't want our bees feuding. No. So we pretty much got all the bees off of this. So you can see they're still fanning, trying to find the queen. So we're just gonna bop them right in there, like so. Come on. Um, honey, we might have got to em. we might have to trim these. I keep running into them. Okay. <laughs> we need All to right, trim this the tree. One's empty. That goes over there. And any dead bees that are in here are no big deal. They're gonna clean it up and get them out. How many? Yeah, there are dead? is some dead one, but it's gonna happen. Yep. You know, we we'll just put this box upside down here. Try not to squash anybody. Yeah, don't do that. And we'll let them get out. We'll leave them sit like that for a little while. There's a couple of the dead ones right here. And the bees will clean up the bodies. If you notice, we got a bigger opening here. This is a very active hive now. And they're just working hard. So they got a bigger opening. They got enough bees to defend it. This one's small. And I'm gonna put a little plug in the end of that. I know the limbs are getting hung on my bee suit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this one has a plug in it. How big an opening will that be? That'll only be a little bit more. We're gonna head, put this on there. That should be, they should be able to defend that okay. And we're done. Smoker's still going. Good. Good to go. And like I said, I'm learning, I've, I forgot a lot of it, so I'm learning again as we go along. I'm gonna Cause, kinda. Hold on, honey, because there's a lot to learn. It is very, it's a lot to learn about bees. It's fascinating. You wouldn't believe. I'm kind of smoking them out of their old box here.
And that should help them leave. Let's see what we got. So yeah, they're just about all out of there already. So basically, so, we're, we're just gonna let this sit here for yep. a little bit so they get all out the box and then close it up. Yeah, I'm gonna stand here though because I don't want our other bees yeah. going into here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now to keep that from happening is we're gonna close it off at the top. This is a top board. It's just got the slot in it for ventilation. Okay, yeah, we got some dead bees. We'll get them out of here. The rest of the bees will clean up themselves. Put this on here like so. And we're gonna put this box right over the top of that. Yeah, there's a drone in there, isn't there? Yeah, I saw a few. Two of them. And we're gonna do this. And the other bees should not bother them now and they'll uh, get going. I'm gonna go get some food. You use one-to-one -one sugar water in these. And uh, we're still feeding these bees to help them grow. These are only, these are almost a month behind these bees now. But our mesquite flow and everything just started. So these are gonna be some happy bees. I'm trying to get and it up. And they're around the box because they can smell the queen in there. I'm trying to get a up close picture of one, but they've moved too much. You can get them going in and out of the door over there. These are good, healthy bees. Like I said, Dwayne Combs. I'll put a link to where we get our bees on the video for Tammy. And while she's filming or doing whatever she's doing, I'm going to go get some food and put on here. Actually, I'm going to be done filming because I'm burning up in this bee suit, y'all. So all, all I'm going to do now is get the rest of the bees out of here, put some sugar water, one-to-one -one sugar water in each one of these. And make sure you don't boil your sugar water before to mix it because it makes the sugar water toxic to bees with a chemical change that happens. So it'll mix up eventually. You just mix it in warm water, tap water, or just cool water. I just use cool water. But I'm gonna go grab a couple of That's feeders and get them on here. And Alrighty. That way I can leave these guys alone. All right, y'all. Well, like I said, I'm burning up in this bee suit. It's 90 degrees right now here in Arizona. We're in the 90s already. And y'all know I hate the heat. <laughs> So anyways, get out this bee suit and uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you enjoy these videos and I'll see you in the next one.